hello viewers it's a pastor beam tv today again coming to you to let you know that we are still on marriage matters marriage issues marriage affairs everything to do with stability of our marriage and during marriage and enjoyable marriage today we'll be talking about being purposeful we just have to be purposeful about this fact that god has ordained marriage we have to be purposeful about it we just don't leave marriage to be well um, i mean to eat and uh, can decide you can't decide because the bible says that god ordained marriage and uh, we are made to realize that he does not like divorce when his children are not happy the bible says he's touched with the feeling of our infirmity so god would teach us how to make it happy and uh, we must abide by it. Ephesians 5 already told us the basic thing that is expected of us. So we must be purposeful about it. Yeah, I hear women say that, oh, I'm walking. And yeah, I don't think you should let that override your primary role as a wife and a mother. Yes, we can walk, but we must get our priorities right. The Bible says to us about um Deborah in uh, Judges 4 4 that Deborah was wife to Lapidoth, he, she was a judge and also a prophetess in Israel. That's a big role. And it was not recorded that she, she messed up, you know, with her home. So it's about being focused. These things are written for ad admonition. These things are written so that we can learn from it. The Bible says the Bible is written that we may get knowledge and wisdom on how to go about things. That's the purpose why things, things like this are put in the Bible for us. Only when we are God representative, children of God, representative of the father of all glory we can't afford not to get it right so in our marriage we want to be purposeful we know that tabitha called Dockers was purposeful she was determined in in, in 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 impacting life being purposeful such that she touched so many life and acts um, 9 30, 36 to 42 told us about how the life she lived you know blessing people living a life of purpose living you know a life that is is is, is worthy of emulation such that even when she she passed on people would not allow her go that you know she's too good to to just pass away like that you know that means she's needful she is she 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 is purposeful she is she's vital and they had to go and look for peter that you must raise the, Tabitha, Dockers must come back to life. And at the end of the day, you know, her good works did bring her back to life because people sought help that she could she, she, she was revived. So let us be purposeful. Everything we do is 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 for a reason, and that reason must be felt by people who know us. Yeah, at, um, in, in Romans um, chapter 12 and verse 11, reading from the Amplified Version, or the classic the classic edition, it says, never lack in zeal. And we shouldn't lack in zeal. That zeal, we should not lack in it. Never lack in zeal. It says to be earnest in our endeavor. And that's, that's the whole essence of, of being purposeful. You must not lack in zeal at all. You must make sure that you it, it's done aglow. The Bible continues by saying that, that be aglow and burning with spirit, serving the Lord. Be filled with the Spirit of God because it's not by power nor by might. But the Spirit of God in you that will enable you to live a purposeful life. So as a Christian woman, when we set our mind on being purposeful, then we begin to put to use what the Lord has given to us, skills and talents, whatever we know that we are able to do, you know, and we do very well. We just keep on putting in that zeal. We keep putting in more effort. And before we know it, we discover that we are making something outstanding of the different gifts that God has made for us. Because we were told that Doc has made outfit for people and she 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 was just there for people who who she knew she could help what can you be a blessing with just look around you god has given you something just be a blessing be purposeful you know just make impact the bible let us know that all things are possible to those who believe you can be impactful you can be 
referred to that oh oh auntie so 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 and so somebody's mommy you know depending on the name of your child is did this for me or oh, somebody may even be watching you as a, as a, you know you might be a role model for someone who is watching and taking mentoring from you even without you saying a word you know it's not about when the children are looking at celebrities music celebrities on tv or you know music artists somewhere else and you are not impressed with it you can be a, a secret mentor to someone someone just taking inspiration from you as a christian mother or a christian wife they've seen somewhere maybe met in church or live in a particular neighborhood and somebody is is watching and learning from your lifestyle so let us be influential one way or the other that will bring glory to God. The Bible says in, in Matthew chapter 5 and 16, it says, Let your light so shine before me that it may give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So let your life shine. You must shine. You are expected to shine as a child of God. The Bible lets us realize that even the poor after the one woman did several things. Put, incorporated several things you know her lifestyle just shows that she was engaged she was busy she was producing things she was ensuring that husband is honored at the gate so many things her servants were treated well I mean girls looking at modern days you know situation people who work with her were you know were well treated just her life, her life was so inspiring and um, these things don't just don't go unnoticed or unrewarded the bible says that god gives us the power to 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 get wealth because if you show yourself proficient consistent and full of zeal just as we read in romans 12 11 the time of reckoning comes i'll just read isaiah 40 8 and 17 to us that says that those things stem from the amplified by uh, bible the classic edition which says thus says the lord your redeemer the holy one of israel i am the lord your god who teaches you to profit who leads you in the way you should go so when god has given you a talent he will give you opportunities to 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 unleash it you know in a various areas but you must not check back out of fear or out of intimidation you must put to work you must practice you must make effective what god has put in you you may say oh i'm a stay home mom i really don't but you do school run and you mix with parents let your lifestyle let your your presence be felt it may just be the word that comes from your mouth word of encouragement one way or the other you'll find yourself you know being impactful if you ask god to direct you because you really want your light to so shine and um, that's where we're going to leave it today. I'm going to ask you to please step out in faith. Ensure that you are making the necessary impact. Because you don't want to bury that talent. Remember the parable of the talent. The one with the one talent. The one with the five. And you know how they doubled it. Are you going to bury yours or you are going to double it and show the Lord that this special gifting you have given to me. This is what I've been able to do with it. Please put it to work. You can either know how to cook so well to knit so well to do something so well something so well that you know how to do it might just be production of one thing or the other that you just know how to do so well make it in part for and you will leave your mark and people will know that you you came around somebody once lived on these streets and that's you the you watching me stay blessed continue to to encourage others to subscribe refer someone to Pastor Beam TV and see you next time. God bless.